See, the question is, an article was sold for rupees 60 and some loss was incurred. Had it been sold for rupees 81, the profit would be 20% of the loss incurred earlier. What is the original price of the article? What is the original price of the article? See, this is a cost price and selling price problem. This is a cost price and selling price problem. So, whenever I talk about cost price, selling price, selling price will always be equal to cost price plus profit in case I make profit. Selling price will be equal to cost price minus loss in case I make loss. This is the Bible for all your cost price and selling price problems. Selling price will be equal to cost price plus profit in case I make profit. Selling price will be equal to cost price minus loss in case I make loss. Suppose the cost price is 10 rupees. If I sell it for 12 rupees means I will be making a profit of 2 rupees. If I sell it for 8 rupees means I will be making a loss of 2 rupees. But by default, if I say make a profit of 10% means nothing is mentioned, it is always on cost. If I say I make a profit of 10%, so it is always on cost. If I say make a loss of 10% means it is always on cost. If I mention something, you see like here what is happening is, it is sold for the profit would be 20% of the loss incurred. So here I cannot say it is 20% of CP, it is 20% of the loss incurred here. So this is being compared to the third element. Now the way of doing it is selling price when you sell it for 60. When you sell it for 60, I am incurring loss means I don't know the cost price. CP minus loss. CP minus loss. Selling price would be cost price minus loss. The next statement is had it been sold for 81. So 81 is the selling price will be equal to CP is making a profit. And this profit, this profit is profit will be equal to 20 by 100 of loss because loss is incurred here 20 percent means 20 by 100 of loss so substitute it at 80 will be equal to cp plus 20 by 100 of loss whatever loss i incurred here on that i am making profit of 20 percent now bring this equation also here 60 will be equal to cp minus loss now what happens is here what i want is to find out is cost price i don't want loss so loss is an unwanted variable, loss is an unwanted variable. So this is minus loss, this is 1 by 5 of 20 by 30 1 by 5 of loss. Multiply this whole equation by 5, multiply this whole equation by 5. So what will happen is this will become 405 will be equal to 5 CP plus loss. And this will be same equation, 60 will be equal to CP minus loss. Now add these two equations, 465 will be equal to 6 CP or CP will be equal to 465 by 6 which will be equal to 77.50. So the cost price is 77.50. The cost price is 77.50. Now I will give you the shortcut. So the shortcut is a simple one, only oh, let understand like this. See this is 60, 60 is the 60 is the loss, 60 is the selling price, then I make loss, this loss value is here and this is the cost price, this loss value is here, this is the cost price. Now from here I am going to 81 and I am making profit, so this gap is nothing but 20% of loss, this will be 20% of loss, this will be 20% of loss. Now what happens is this is straight line, this is loss, this gap is 20% of loss means the minus this. 21 will be equal to loss plus 1 by 5 of loss. This is the shortcut. Or 20 will be equal to 6 by 5 of loss. 20 will be equal to 6 by 5 of loss. Loss will be equal to 17.50. So 60 plus 17.50 will be 77.50. This is the easier method of doing it. First is understand how it is to be done. Then if you can understand doing like this, you can do it faster. And whenever you do like this, ensure that the variable is one and the same. Supposing this variable is loss here, this is something else you can't do like this. If the variable is same, you can do it like this. It is very, very simple and easy. Follow my channel. I will be adding questions every now and then.